Hey, here's the scenario. You have just finished a Zoom meeting. You've downloaded all those files and you end up with something like this. A folder that has audio only, playback Zoom, and then another folder within that that has a bunch of individual audio files for each of the participants on it. And you need to sync these and edit these together. We'll do this in DaVinci Resolve today. So first thing, of course, you need to do is import your files into DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to do this through the edit page or edit panel. And I'm just going to right click up here where it says clip. And I'm going to go import media. So as you can see, I've got all of those. All right, now that we have everything imported, there's a few different ways that you can do this. I'm actually gonna show you this particular method. Uh, maybe I'll do another video at a later date on doing it through the media page, but I'm gonna actually show you in the cut page. Okay, in the cut page, you can see we've got all of our individual audio ones, as well as that Zoom one that has the video, and then the audio only one that, that's the master has everything. So I'm actually going to not include this one in the sync. I'm going to include each individual one, and I'm gonna include the Zoom, because basically uh, the Zoom one and the audio only one are the same. There's not gonna be any difference in regards to the audio there, and the ones I want to use are actually the individual people. So now that I've selected the ones that I wanna sync, you've got this little icon right here that says Sync Clips. Click on that. It's gonna pull up a menu here, and you notice what it's doing is it's naming everything camera, which is kind of annoying, but, it's basically saying camera one, that's gonna be my master, that's the video, and the rest of these are each person's individual audio files. All right, down here you've got a few options. You've got sync by, so you've got sync by, um, you've got sync by time code, which is great if you're using the time code uh, to sync it, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go sync by audio for the purpose of this. So it's gonna sync it based on the audio files. Then just hit the sync option, and it's gonna start processing it. And then we're going to hit this option here that says Save Sync. And now we have a little, you can see that there's these little icons on each to let you know that these are the ones that are synced. All right, now keep watching the video here because we're not done yet. I need to show you how to kind of do a few changes here to make it uh, easier to edit. So jump back down to your edit page now. And within the edit page, we've got this option here. You see that says Media Synced. That's what we want. We can drag that down into our timeline. Now you see here, this is why I said don't uh, stop watching. You notice how we've got camera one written down here for both the audio and the video file. So we've got one layer, and what it's giving us is just that master audio, the one that has everybody's audio on it at once. And we don't want that. We want each person's audio individual so that we can edit each one individually so we can raise one person's volume maybe while lowering another person's volume. All right, the next thing we want to do here is you want to make sure that this little icon here is unselected. So by default, it's going to be selected. Mine was already undone because uh, I've done this before. So you want to make sure link selections is unselected. Now, right click, and then you've got this option here that says open in timeline. Select on that. And notice what we're getting here. Now we're getting to what we want, which is going to be multiple layers with each individual person that's speaking. Now you can't really edit hit them here yet. Notice that they're, they've are they kind of got this uh, grayed out or their look to them. That's because they're locked. So you can simply just go over here and click the uh, little lock icon and that will unlock them for you. Make sure to do all of them. All right, now what you can do here is you can grab everything. So do a control A or like what I did where I just clicked and then dragged down to select everything. You want to copy, right click and hit copy or control C. Jump back over to timeline one, which is where we were. And you wanna make sure that up here on the option, up here you see where it says timeline view options. Click on that and you wanna make sure this first one is selected, this stacked timelines. Just so make sure you've got that. And I'm going to expand this just a bit to give us some extra space. And then what I'm going to do is just control V and paste all those there. So notice now we have our master, which is going to be the same, and each person's individual one. 
So what you can do if you want is you can grab these and move them underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my first two and delete them. And then that way everything will slide over where I want it. Nice and editable. So what I can now do is I can mute that top line because once again, I don't want that because that's the audio that has everybody speaking over each other. And then now these, I have each person's individual audio. So that way I can edit them individually as I want. All right, hope you found that useful. As always, feel free to give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, and all that other fun stuff.